Thank you, Kumari says. Suddenly, the Western media has started attacking the Dalai Lama for kissing a kid, but does not talk about Biden kissing young children and women, harassing them. My thoughts? My thoughts? <laughs> it's hypocrisy. First of all, uh, listen, uh, the Dalai Lama is a very elderly person. The, the truth is that as people get really old, they revert to childlike behavior. Okay, many of them. I'm not saying all of them. Some people, they are very sharp, and, uh, you know, with great mental, mental acuity deep into the 90s. Look at Henry Kissinger. He's still just as sharp as he was 50 years ago. Really sharp guy. But most people, after they reach, reach a certain age, 60, 70, maybe 70 or 80 plus, then they kind of revert back to childlike behavior. The memories are there, the intellect is there, but the behavior becomes more childlike. And they would then tend to do certain things that they would otherwise not do, right? And there is obviously a cultural disconnect. Tibetan culture has certain customs. Every culture has certain customs that look very strange when you look at it from an outsider's perspective. So in Tibetan culture, there is this uh, tradition of sticking your tongue, tongue out in, in greeting. In New Zealanders, uh, in New Zealand's Maori culture, there is this tradition of greeting people by rubbing your noses with each other. It's very weird, but you've got to respect that it's, it's a cultural tradition there. And it's completely normal and good over there. It doesn't have any bad meaning or intention. Similarly, uh, so it could be something to do with culture. They greet each other in Tibet by sticking their tongue out. And I even heard that, uh, I, I, don't, I don't know the details, but I will tend to give the Dalai Lama the benefit of the doubt. Obviously, once this happened, the pro-China media has gone all out and they are bombarding social media with all kinds of fake facts about uh, fake, fake stories about how Tibet was extremely feudal and evil and they used to sacrifice children and sacrifice people and enslave people. All kinds of horror stories that they are putting out without any shred of evidence. And the evidence they will give you is that some European went there and saw it. Well, Europeans say, have said all kinds of horrible things about India as well. Does it mean those things are true? So please understand and please don't get swayed by these uh, this social media narrative. Lots of of people on China's payroll, people who look European or who are European or American, they are also, you know, putting this nonsense out on social media. So this, unfortunately, has given the Chinese Communist Party, the CCP, a great golden opportunity to go all out in demonizing Tibet and justifying their horrific occupation of that wonderful nation, okay? So uh, I personally give the Dalai Lama the benefit of the doubt. I personally am not an expert in Tibetan culture and customs. I am aware that they greet each other with the tongue out, by sticking the tongue out, and there could be more to it. So I don't think the Dalai Lama is an evil person. Some people do allege that he is a Chinese agent and all that. Well, I, I, I don't know about that, okay? Some people do allege that, but I don't know. So... Uh, you see this entire social media outburst, this outpouring of hate and vitriol and demonization on the Dalai Lama, on, 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 on Tibet and Tibetan culture. But the same people will be very quiet when it comes to the, the, the wonderful propensity and proclivities of President Biden. I mean, it's all out there in the public domain, the way he, I mean, his behavior, his behavior, his ghastly, horrific behavior. And nobody speaks about that. That tells you that, there, that, that you cannot trust the media. You cannot trust the media, the mainstream media, and all these social media activists who suddenly have become very conscious about the alleged atrocities that were perpetrated in, in Tibet before the Chinese invaded and conquered and annexed the nation. Don't trust this. These are all lies. This is a concerted social media campaign. We know in India about these toolkits, you know, a whole bunch of uh, prominent Twitter accounts and Facebook accounts and whatnot, they start this concerted campaign all of a sudden with very similar tweets and very similar statements, all in unison, the trend, hashtags and all that. This is all artificially engineered, isn't it? We understand that. Well, the same thing is happening right now with Tibet. The same people will be completely quiet when it comes to their president or the president of the US. So this is hypocrisy. It's double standards. It's They are trying to artificially engineer people's thoughts and sentiments. And they're trying to create a very pro-China, um, a pro-China environment. They're trying to essentially justify what the Chinese have been doing. You know, the horrific occupation of Tibet, which still continues temporarily. So these are my thoughts about this matter.